Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, sometime back ago, we restored this Famco 5C Arbor Press in my shop, and it has been a uh, very Im uh, important tool in my shop, one that I have used a lot, one that sees a fair amount of use in my shop. Uh, and just recently, I was approached by a viewer who has also recently picked up a Famco 5C, just like this one. However, the one that he got was missing one little part on it. Uh, and it has to do with this uh, spindle lock. So there's a, uh, a knob here in the front that when you uh, tighten this up, basically it goes up against the, the shaft in here that moves everything up and down and it will just lock that in place. You unscrew it and it frees it back up again. So it's just a little friction thing. There's just a little hand knob here that does it. There's a spacer between the hand knob and the spindle that locks it all in place. He's missing this part. He wanna know if I can make one for him uh, to replace it with. So that's a pretty simple part. Should be able to knock it out pretty quick, hopefully. So um, let's see if we can do that. First off, let me get you a close up so you can take a look and see what we got. So here's the knob, and as you can see again, the spacer in there. This knob, mine is actually not <laughs> drilled straight at all, but it works. Uh, it came from the factory that way. But uh, if you should take the knob off, all it is is a piece here. It's got a, looks like about a 45 degree uh, chamfer on one end and a hole big enough to go up over, I believe that's a half inch uh, bolt. Now the original one is cast. Looks like it was just cast, really no machining on it at all. Had a cord hole, um, not a whole lot of tolerances on this. Um, you know, we could make a pattern, send it off to the foundry, get it cast, but honestly guys, that's just a quick lathe job. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, go over to the lathe and see if we can uh, make one of these and we'll just make it out of steel. All right, here's our original part. Outside diameter is roughly inch and a quarter. It's a casting, so it varies somewhat. I'm gonna call it inch and a quarter, and I got some inch and a quarter stock here that will make this out of. So I'm just gonna sketch this out. So we got inch, quarter diameter. Let's see the length on this is 2.8. I mean, it's not a critical measurement. And again, it varies depending on where you measure it, but um, we're gonna call it 2.800 total length. The hole through here is 625, a little less than, that's 5 eighths, but we're just gonna call it 5 eighths. And we've got a chamfer, and our chamfer is 45 degrees, and it's about 325 long. All right, got a piece of stock here. Got a drawing, sketch, let's, uh, let's go make this thing over on the lathe. All right, I got my stock in the lathe and got enough sticking out there to deal work with here. Uh, no need to do anything to the outside. This is not a precision outside finish, so we're just gonna go with the, the rough, uh, or the, it's the, the stock finish on that. And we're gonna start by drilling this, or facing it actually, and then drilling it. So let's get a cutter in here to, face that front to get a good uh, good face there to work off of. Fire the lathe up. And we'll just come in and face that off. Just a little bit more. Get that out of the way. Now we're going to come in with a 3 8 inch uh, drill to kind of start the hole. And we'll just go basically the full depth of that drill bit. Alright, that's 
to be far enough. Switching over to a 5 8 inch uh, drill bit. And this will take it to the final size. depth of that bit, we're going to have to kind of peck it a little bit to take it to the final, and I think we're at depth there, so that should take care of our drilling. Next is going to be the chamfer, and uh, use my calipers to put a mark on there. That's how far in we need to chamfer, and I'm just going to see if I can do this with a... Uh, regular cutter here. May get to be taking too wide of a cut and get some chatter. If so, I'll set my compound and we'll do it that way. I'm hoping I can get away with this. That's going to do it right there. I'm going to take some emery cloth here and just uh, Polish that up a little bit on the outside, getting that rust and mill scale, whatever was on there off. We'll also um, kind of hit this, hit the face there. Want to kind of round those edges over a little bit. We'll part it off. I'm just going to use the original here as a indicator for the depth. This is not a critical measurement. Harder off. I can catch it with this little piece of metal. There we go. Take our piece of stock out. I'm just going to put this in backwards. And let's clean up that backside there. I'm just going to real lightly face that. put a small chamfer on this just to break that edge and soften it up a little bit. There should be plenty. And I think that's got our part made. Piece of cake. All right, just uh, use a little hand deburr here. We'll just uh, lightly deburr the inside of those holes. Make sure we don't have any sharp corners. We'll do that on both sides. Feels good to the touch. And that part is made. Let's go try it out. So 
that fits up on there, goes up inside the recess. And just like the original, the hole's a lot bigger than the, uh, the needed, but I copied the original pattern there. There we go. And that's got that spindle locked in place, which is just what we want. So, uh, success. I'm gonna put the original back on mine and we'll send the other one along. Well, there we go, one part made. Um, sometimes they're easy, guys. This was an easy project, obviously, um, but it's what he needed. That's what we got done. And while the original was cast and this one's steel, it'll work just fine. Um, probably work better, <laughs> to be honest with you. So uh, we'll get this sent in the mail to him and uh, he'll be ready to go. So guys, with that, as always, thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up and comments, greatly appreciated. Really helps out the analytics on the channel. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a button to do that down below and uh, hit that button and you'll get uh, be subscribed to the channel. And also, if you want to get notifications when uh, new videos are posted, hit that bell icon uh, on YouTube, and it will take care of doing that for you as well. And as always, big, huge thank you to the supporters out there who support the site through Patreon and other places like PayPal, whatever. Uh, greatly appreciate you guys. Could not do everything we do without you. And uh, with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Again, thanks for watching.